So we got a Gen 4 Glock 17. It's got Trigicon sights. Um, other than that, it's mostly stock. I mean, it's got a different backstrap than most people run, but it's a stock backstrap still. So I'm just going to shoot it a little bit, and we'll sit down and do most of the talking. They're doing uh, training over there, so I don't want to try to talk over that. Now, the Glock 17 is the first Glock that ever came out. Um, the 17 was originally released in 1982. And so this is the fourth iteration of it. So here's the Glock 17. And uh, it's got um, Trigicon sights on it. So those were put on by the owner. And it's got the thicker backstrap and beaver tail on here. Um, yeah, so there was a lot of people shooting at the range. So I'm just going to put the range footage in there with this video. But besides the the thicker back strap that my hand just isn't big enough to really get a good grip on it uh it shot really well this isn't going to be a full-on review um there's so many of those reviews online already there's no sense in me doing a full-on review of it i just more or less wanted to see if uh these were still a reasonable purchase uh because you can still get these new in a lot of places um i'm not sure if they're still being manufactured new i imagine all the gen fives is what's being manufactured now so you just get what's uh, left in the market but you can pick these up as retired like law enforcement agency guns uh, really cheap uh, i've seen them go around the 300 to 350 dollar range so that's really good and is that a good option for you now i do suggest the gen 5 the gen 5 does have a better trigger um and i do like not having the finger grooves finger grooves don't bother me but i do like the way that it feels without them um in the trigger it's not terrible but i would replace that trigger and there's tons of options you've got apex all sorts of different brands so triggers aren't a big deal so if you don't mind replacing the trigger i think it's an excellent option um i'm more or less just uh my buddy let me uh borrow it huffler garage they got a youtube channel if you uh like car stuff they do a bunch of fixing things and everything so uh you can check out their YouTube channel. I'll put a link in the description. So thank you very much for loaning me this for a week. I've kind of gotten a week to test it out and see if it was uh, something I'm interested in my next purchase. But yeah, I tried to carry it. Uh, I've got a uh, Phalanx, Phalanx Defense Systems holster. And it fits really well. It's got great retention in there. But just the barrel so long it's not practical for me to try to carry one of these. Now, if you're going to open carry it, yeah, it might work a little bit better. But as far as concealed carry goes, I'm sure there are some people that carry them and have no issues doing that. That is definitely not me. I have gotten very comfortable with my 43X, which is a much, much smaller handgun. Now, the 43X is skinnier, shorter, it's smaller all the way around. Um, so this felt a lot different to me not a bad feeling it's shot really well um i think if i was in the market to buy one though i would end up going with a 19 over the 17 just uh have a little bit smaller of a package uh, or something like the 19x or the other glock model i don't remember the number that is basically like an upgraded version of the 19x but it's going to be black versus the the they call it a coyote tan like I said, this isn't really a full review. It's more or less, I just wanted to test it out and kind of get my feelings on it. And uh, what, is it a bad handgun if you could get one for around 350 bucks? No, not at all. Now, if I was in the market to buy something brand new, which brand new, they're going for about like 480, 450, 480. I haven't seen them really around 450. It's mostly about 480. Uh, or pay the 499 just to get a Gen 5, I would get the Gen 5. Uh, the Gen 5 supposedly has a better barrel, too. I don't know too much information on that. But also you get the MOS model of the 17 and Gen 5, and that's probably really where the best uh, bang for your buck actually lies. So this is an excellent handgun, and I had a great time shooting it, and it was a good experience for me. Um, I do wish it had the smaller back strap on it. Like I said, my hands just my hands aren't huge, and it was hard for me to get a really good grip on it. I was finding myself having to adjust a lot and things like that. And uh, 
I was getting like cramping in here, which I have some hand issues from when I was younger and I skateboarded and stuff and I uh, binged up my hands pretty bad. So there's that too. It makes larger grips on guns a lot harder for me to really get enough pressure to get a solid foundation for my shots and everything like that. But I think if it had the smaller back strap, it'd be completely fine to get for like an outside the waistband carry option. So if you clicked on this video because you were considering buying one, maybe you found a really good deal on one or something, do I think you'd be wrong or it'd be a bad idea to go with it? No, I think it's it'd be fine. I would recommend go ahead and replace that trigger. Definitely get some night sights like what's on here. Um, stock uh, Glock sights. I'm just not big on that goalpost style sight. It's just not for me. But as far as something to, you know, train with and everything, I think it's a really good handgun and you wouldn't go wrong with it. Uh, however, it's not something I would probably go out and buy. I would probably get a 19 or a 19X, something around those lines. Um, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, hit that like button. Subscribe to the channel. Also, follow me on Instagram and Twitter. The giveaway is active. It ends the 30th or the 31st. I don't know. I have a video on it. You can go back to check it out. So I'm doing a giveaway on my channel too that I'm really excited about. So definitely subscribe to the channel and stay up to date on that. Other than for that, I hope you guys did enjoy the video. If you did, again, smash that like button. I am out.